Welcome to Dogman Homestead. It is July 4th, 2022. What is that? And we are out here at the garden. I'm going to cut, cut a few things and we are going to smoke a tri-tip tri on the grill. Now, tri-tip uh, is a lot like brisket. Uh, there's different taste. It comes from the rear of the cow where the brisket comes from the chest area in the front. So that's what my store had. I wanted a brisket. They're actually more expensive than a brisket. It was like 40 bucks for a four and a half pound uh, piece of meat. So yeah, but you know, once in a while you gotta splurge. And I'm gonna spin you around. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna clip some rosemary. I think this is time. Let's cut a couple pieces of these off. Yeah. Cut some of this rosemary. Yeah. See what else we're gonna get. Oh, those smell good. We're gonna cut some more of that later. Let's pick a few of these uh, basils. Oh. About some pineapple sage. Yeah, a couple of them dudes. What else we got? Let's pick a pepper. Let me just flower on this ochre. Yeah. And let's cut one of these basils. Oop, I dropped something. And I think, well, I got some cucumbers ready to go yeah, everything's doing well doing well at least to me this is not ripe yet i did pick some yesterday got quite a few romas yep but you know guys it has been so hot i haven't worked on that and probably won't touch it this week so we're gonna do another you know my whole channel is not all about building so i'm gonna do some other things that one's doing a strange thing. All right. We'll come over here. Like I said, I'm going to come back and get some more of that rosemary, but I'm going to throw this in a drip pan. Let's come over here and see. It is hot. So I'm going to smoke instead of grill. Alright, got apple juice in there already. Let's just toss that stuff in there. Can't hurt nothing. Fire this dude up. Ooh. -hoo. I used to have a can I'd get these started in. I need to get another one, but you know what? I've got my hickory chunks in the water though. Let's just fire this dude up. Then we're going to go in, trim the uh, tri-tip, get her rubbed down, get her ready to come on out here. So once this catches, all right, I think that'll be fine. Let's go in and do the trimming. I ask you, are you ready to smoke some tri-tip, Miss Rooster? You don't care now, but I guarantee you when I pull that off the smoker, your sniffer is going to be going six million miles an hour. Uh. All right, we got the tri-tip out. And what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do, the top does not look too bad. I'm going to trim a little of this off. Oh, this knife is horrible. Just bought it. See what else I got. Trim, yeah, that's a little better. I'm just taking off some of this harder fat. Ah, oh, now I'm gonna have to invest in a very good knife because these ain't working. I'm gonna put this fat in this bowl. Good knife sure helps. Alright, now this side. Let's 
take some of this thick stuff off here. Now you want to leave some, because that helps generate the juices. And I am no expert on this. We're just going to take some of it off. Yeah, I do not have a sharp knife, that's for sure. Don't want to cut into the good stuff, man. That's what I'm doing. All right, just a little more right here. A little thick right there. I actually bought these knives now. Two on the hush rooster. What are we barking at? Some of you are looking at this going, he's butchering this thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Bessie Lou. Don't want to choke to death. Shut up, rooster. See what I got to deal with, folks. All right. There's a big chunk that needs to come off. You want to get the sides good and cut. Square piece. That's pretty good. All right. Let me wash my hands and I'll come back. I don't have much counter space because I got a new uh, toaster oven. It's also a air fryer, convection oven, dehydrator, has a rotisserie. All right, now, we're gonna rub this dude down. A little bit of oil, olive oil. I ain't gonna put a ton on there, I'll show you why in a minute. Yeah, rub the sides down. Wash my hands again. Now, I've never done this, but I've seen a lot of people do it, and I'm going to do it. Did you want something for the rub the stick on and put mustard rub that in mustard is probably one of the you know one of the foods that a lot of people don't realize adds some good taste I like putting it in macaroni and cheese man it's good right, let's see this off again still in there yeah all right I just got some store-bought rub it says brisket rub well this is what it's gonna be I'm gonna load it on don't tell me it's that stuff that's what the heck it won't come out of there man no oh, they got a piece of plastic over there that's clear well, that's a new one. <sighs> Look at that. Boy, they're getting sneaky these days, man. No, I did not touch the rub with that knife. All right, I'm just gonna pour that stuff on there. Gonna pat it, not rub it, pat it. Get down there to stick. And get some on the sides here. Alright, 
flip it all over, do it again. We want a good bark on this thing. And make a huge mess. All right. Put a little minced garlic on top. As you know, I use this on almost everything. You can't go wrong with garlic, man. Shouldn't be dipping that fork in there, should I? It's all right, we're on top of the rub. All right. That's the prep. I'm gonna go out and get the grill ready. All right, coals are good and hot down there in the center. I don't want them all gray because I don't want to do this but once an hour. So I'm gonna take one, one of these chunks and just set it right on top. And I'm gonna close my vents. You want a little air getting in there until they really get going. And I've already cleaned this off, so we're good there. I'm gonna hit it again. Now I've got this burning over to the side here. That's how you do smoking. But I'm gonna try to cook this between 225 and 250 degrees, probably four or five hours. We'll see how it goes. I don't have an internal thermometer or anything, but I've never died from taking stuff off the grill too early yet all right let me get this warming up a little how accurate that is i don't know but it's what i've always went by all right it's a little after 9 a.m we got it on there all right we're gonna shut this and just leave a little crack up there leave that open a little touch and we'll just should get around to it'll probably go up a little past 250 and we'll just maintain that temperature by adding charcoal by adding the wood and there we have smokinage smoke a loser 2022 coming at you all right, it's been about 45 minutes, so we're at about 300 degrees. I'm going to shut this up a little bit. And that ain't bad at the beginning. It's going to be hot. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a smoking. Oh, take y'all in here and show you what I got. Like I said, I haven't done anything to this build. It's just been too miserable, but I do. I am going to try to get in here this week and get some electrical run. Uh, and it's a mess once again in here. Got my indoor outdoor carpeting. They got 10 by 10 wadded up in this box. And on this over here, I got a ceiling fan. A low profile one that's gonna go approximately there so my electrical box is in that room behind this wall so I'm gonna run it through up here probably up over and then have my fan probably as far, far up as I can get it where the blades aren't gonna hit the wall because uh, you know I'm six foot one so up here's probably I don't know eight foot not even eight foot seven and a half foot so I don't want to be knocking my head with it and uh, basically and then I need to run some water in here so I get the washer and dryer ready let me oh somebody just hightailed it there's my boy I've got this AC on low and it is cozy in here man yeah well she doesn't much care to be in the cool all day she spends a lot of time outside when it gets real hot she comes in and that's all that's important you know 
A dog isn't stupid. If it's too hot Help. for them, yeah, oh, well, you might be. Help. If it's too hot, they're gonna get, if they got a place to get out of it, they're gonna get out of it, ain't you? Oh. Yeah. What else? Oh. Oh. Yeah, you had a dream? What did you dream about? Huh? Oh, oh you was driving down the road in my truck with me. Okay. Well, we, oh. we, one oh. we'll do that. You were chasing rabbits too? You always chase rabbits when you were a baby. He's a rabbit boy. All right, guys. He's visiting in on the babies. All right, I gotta get to smoking. I'll bring you on a piece of meat later. How's that sound? Put a piece of meat in your supper. Yeah, try tipping your supper. I know. All right, we're almost two hours into this. And uh, I have added a few. I just add, you know, two or three pieces of charcoal at a time. Uh, it shows it's running around 275. Don't know how accurate that is. So I'm just going to add, let's just add a couple of small chunks of this wet. Don't see a lot of smoke coming out. And you don't want your charcoal to get to where it's powder. Before you add in more, so I'm just gonna reach in here. That's basically all I do. We just add a few pieces on to it, and that's it, man. Look at that thing. I'm gonna have to get something and spoon out some of that. I'm gonna spoon out some of those juices in that drip pan. Let me go get a spoon and we'll do that. All them fresh cut herbs I put in there earlier had time to mingle up in there. Yeah, let's just spoon some of that on there. So you can see some of them herbs have broken up. This will also add to the bark. Do it one more time. See them herbs busted up in there. All right, we're gonna leave it alone for a while. All right, we're going to put Brussels sprouts. There's some onion, squash from my garden. You know what? I'm gonna go pick a few things of rosemary. A uh, thing of rosemary, a couple herbs put in here. We're gonna put this in the toaster oven for side dish to go with meat. I'll come back when that comes up. All right, everything here, except for the Brussels sprouts and the onion, are from my garden. We've got green peppers. I've got some Mexibel uh, bell peppers in there, squash. Cut off some chives. We've got some rosemary in there, some thyme. It's all uh, tossed around in olive oil and minced garlic. It's going to be good. So we're about three hours in, three and a half hours in on the smoker. These can sit in here for a little while. It's airtight. And then I'm going to air fry them probably 15, 20 minutes, and they come out good in an air fryer. I haven't used this air fryer yet, so we'll see how they come out. I'll be back. All right, guys, it's going to get smoky in here. I've got the tri-tip off the grill. Now we're going to get a cast iron skillet as hot as we can get it hopefully not burn the place down here and throw about a half stick quarter stick of butter in there holy crap the smoke alarms going off I gotta stop this part then we're gonna sear it this ought to be funny about 30 to 45 seconds on each side Woo, <laughs> Okay, funny. Could have done this on the grill. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, good enough. That's gonna lock them juices in. Woo, Bessie Lou. Good enough. We're giving a good smoking in here. Yeah, I knew better. Oh well. Now we're gonna take that off. That's at about 10 minutes. 
<laughs> I knew better. Pour that stuff right on there. Woo! What do you think, Rooster? All right, fire control. <laughs> I think we got a little smoky, guys. Get these windows open. You all right, dude? Stay down there on the floor. We're gonna suck some of that smoke out. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. All right, just to clear out soon. <laughs> this is... <laughs> all right, well, all the smoke's are clearing. Let's take a look at this stuff. 15 minutes at 400 degrees in the air fryer. Ooh, light didn't tell you to go off. Look at that stuff right there, guys. It's going to be good. All right, I'm going to slice this dude up, get it on a plate. This is a great air fryer, man. Look at the smoke. <laughs> this is going to go down as one of my better cooking videos, ain't it? It'll clear out pretty soon. I don't have a vent hood, and I never do nothing like that, but you got to do that. I do have a uh, outdoor propane cooker, and uh, that's what I should have used. Oh, well, you got to have some fun with it. All right, guys. After the excitement, it's been about 10 minutes. This thing's been resting. Let's do some slicing. I forgot to sharpen this knife. Oh, yeah. You want to cut? Hang on a second. You want to cut across the grain of the knife, with the of the meat. I'll show you this meat here in a little bit. <laughs> I ain't lying, guys. Probably a little low. If you like your meat a little rarer, could have took it off probably a half hour, hour earlier. I did this four hours. But as we get into the, yeah, that's good to me. Uh, there we have it. Oh. oh my god, is that good? Mmm. Mmm, -mm, juicy. Oh god, for 40 bucks it better be good. All oh, that bark on there is just perfect. Well, let's get some on plate, man. Alright, there we have it. If you follow what I did to a T, I'm gonna tell you, you will not be disappointed. Cause this is delicious. Look at them veggies. 15 minutes, 400 degrees in that air fryer in this old smokehouse. Yeah, you may not want to do the searing like I did with, unless you have a vent. I'd do it outside, but that is an important part. That seals that bark in, holds them juices. So I'm going to wash it down with ice cold milk swigged right out of the daggum jug. Happy trails.